what is it that caused some instruments to survive and become common right through the 20th century and others to just fall by the wayside? Well, some instruments have survived because they uh, meet um, uh, an outstanding need, such as the sax horns. Adolf Sax produced the whole family of instruments from very small to very large, all having the same fingering system, which meant that they were very useful in bands where players could be moved from one instrument to another. So the sax horns actually became very popular and were an outstanding commercial success. They have survived, whereas the clavichord, which provides a rather similar tone quality, was never quite of the same ease of playing as the slightly later sax horns. Other instruments, one feels, uh, has been the uh, victim of fashion. Um, the cornophone, a perfectly good instrument, but they weren't invented until the 1880s. And by that time, the people who were organising military bands and brass bands tended to be happy with what they had. Isn't it interesting, the spirit of invention, that I'm, I'm always taken when I go to a, an instrument museum to see all these 19th century instruments of different shapes and sizes, none of which have really survived in any, with any level of importance. One wonders what was going on with all these instruments being invented. Yes, that's right. It's, uh, the 19th century was such an amazing period of technological invention all over, wasn't it? But I often think that the musical instrument area is one of the most striking illustrations of that. that there seem to be many people with this obsessive uh, interest in finding some new way of producing sound from a brass instrument. The cornet with an echo bell was produced in the middle of the 19th century. There's a fourth valve here and when that's pressed the whole instrument sounds with this constricted bell rather than the normal bell. And all sorts of inventions like the echo cornet, for example, in which uh, you have two different bells or the uh, omnitonic horn with umpteen different bells. Uh, it's clear that many of these things were much too complicated to really be economically sensible but the inventors just couldn't resist following this path which often led to some kind of rather ridiculous conclusion. It's no surprise to me that many of these inventors died in poverty <laughs> because they had, they, they had spent a happy life in pursuit of their own dreams but uh, they never had the necessary pecuniary rewards for, for That's the right, day. it's a little sad, isn't it, that the ones who really managed to make a successful business career were probably not the inventors or the musicians, but just people who could take a hard-headed business view and say, this instrument will sell, all these others want, so we throw them into the museum and that's where we find them now. Mm -hmm.